everybody. Today in math, we worked on equivalent ratios, and we used tape diagrams to help us understand equivalent ratios. So in this problem, Pam and her brother both open savings accounts. Each begin with a balance of zero dollars. For every two dollars that Pam saves in her account, her brother saves five dollars in his account. So for number one, it says determine a ratio to describe the amount of money in Pam's account to the amount of money in her brother's account. So when we're working with ratios, we know that we have to stay in the order that it requested. So Pam's two brothers. So if I look up at the top, it says for every $2 that Pam has, so Pam, the ratio is two, two, and the brother would have five. So the ratio of their money is two to five. And as a review, we can write that ratio with the word two in it, like I just did. We can write the ratio with a colon, and we could also write the ratio as a fraction. All three of these are the ways, three different ways to write a ratio. So number two, if Pam has $40 in her account, how much money does her brother have in his account? Use a tape diagram to support your answer. So if I know that the ratio is two to five, I'm gonna start out with Pam and then we'll call her brother bro. So Pam, her ratio is two, so her tape diagram is two long, and the brother's is five, so we try to make them as equal as possible, but we're not perfect, but we get close enough. So there's two tape diagrams showing Pam of two and her brother having five. Well, the information it gave us is that Pam's worth $40. So if this part is worth $40, I know that it's broken up into two equal parts. And if they're exactly the same, 40 broken up into two equal parts means that each of these is worth 20. So if I know that each of Pam's are worth 20, her brothers are all also going to be worth 20 since we know that they're all equal parts, which tells me five sets of 20 Pam's brother has $100 in his account. So record the equivalent ratio. So our ratio of $2 to $5 is equal to $40 to $100. So that's what that one just showed. So on the very last one, it says create another possible ratio that describes the relationship between the amount of money in Pam's account and the amount of money in her brother's account. So if we take a look at that diagram, as long as each of these spaces has an equal amount, I could have each of these be 200. And if each of them were 200, Pam would have a total of 400. If each of them were 200, then her brother would have 200 times 5, which would be $1,000. So as long as whatever you do to one part of the ratio, you do it to this other part of the ratio, you will find an equivalent ratio. So I could say 400 to 1,000 is equivalent. If I wanted to even do another one, if I would just double it, if I said that Pam's, um, each of them were worth just $2 a piece, two sets of two is four. Five sets of two is 10. I could say that each of them is worth five. So for Pam, two sets of five would be 10. And her brothers, five sets of five would be 25. So there's an infinite amount of equal ratios, just as long as you keep that constant the same. So good luck in your practice. Make a difference.